and welcome to this afternoon's history lesson. So first of all, before we go through what we are doing today, I just wanted to say a huge well done for all of your wonderful fact files that you created last week about Florence Nightingale. I was absolutely amazed, as was Miss Bourbon, with the amount of knowledge that not only you learnt within the session, but then a lot of you went away and did your own research. I had um, timelines that have been sent in that people had made themselves. Um, I had some really creative posters that people had made. It, it was just so, so wonderful, wonderful to see how excited you were about your new topic. So thank you, everyone. It was absolutely fantastic. So before we start today, then something a little bit different. We have been doing quick recap questions about um, um, our history unit just to make sure that um, all of these important facts that we are learning are all sticking in our memories. But I've changed up a little bit this week. And as you can see, I've got a question here about last week. OK, so about last week's history. Question about last term's history for the autumn. And then I've got a question about last year. OK, so bringing your memory back even further. And I'm going to do this format every week now okay because I think it's worked really well during that quick little recap quiz so the first question then um it's actually a sentence and you have to fill in the gap so it says when Florence Nightingale returned home from the war she set up the first ever something for nurses in London that's the first one last term this is about the gunpowder plot why did the plotters choose to use gunpowder? Why was it that they chose to use gunpowder? And then finally, I've got a picture here from your toys unit. Can you tell me the name of this historic toy? OK, so pause the screen now and have a go at that recap quiz. OK, then. So first of all, the question about last week. When Florence Nightingale returned home from the war, she set up the first ever school for nurses. Hopefully you said school. Uh, last term, why did the plotters choose to use gunpowder? Now, hopefully you will remember that Guy Fawkes uh, was very familiar with gunpowder. He had a lot of knowledge on it from his time um, fighting in the war. OK, so that is why they chose to use gunpowder. He was very experienced. He knew a lot about it. OK. And then the question about the toy. I asked you what was the name of this toy. I wonder if anyone remembered. Some of you might even have one of these. This is called a Rubik's Cube. OK, and I've never been able to do one. I wish I could, but unfortunately, I have never been able to do it. OK, then. So for today, we are going to be learning about Mary Seacole's life and achievements. OK, now, as you know, we're looking at both Mary Seacole and Florence Nightingale this term. Okay, looking at both of them. Now, last week we did Florence Nightingale. So this week we're going to be looking at Mary Seacole. OK, now there isn't necessarily a task at the end of today's history lesson. OK, so it won't be that I'm giving you an input and then you go and do a task okay it's not necessarily like that today the task is sort of drip thread the drip fed throughout the session so the way it will happen is like last week's down in the box below I've put some links for you to go and have a look at so the way that it'll work is you will go and have a watch of the video okay then come back to the video with me and we do the task together okay and then you'll go and look at another video then you'll come back and we do a little task together and then you'll look at a third video and then you'll come back and we'll do a task together. OK, there is a bit of an extra challenge on the end if you want to. OK, however, today's um, task is is mixed in today, so it means you don't have to go away and do anything and then send it in. OK, so first of all, then. Have a little think or a little discuss. You can think yourself or discuss with somebody that you're with. Would Florence Nightingale have been the only person to help soldiers? OK, do you think that she was the only person? 
Okay, sit and have a little bit of a think about that. So, look at these pictures then. Okay, what do you see, first of all, and what do you notice about these pictures? Think back to week one of history, we were looking at pictures of Florence Nightingale and we were recognising that a lot of them weren't in colour, they were in black and white and some of them were even drawing. So I wonder if you can compare that to these and see if there's any similarities. So are there similarities or differences between these two women? So that means is there things that are the same? Is there things that are, are different? I'll let you pause the screen and have a little think about that. OK, then. So as I said, this is your opportunity to go and watch the first video. OK, the first link, which I have posted below. Then when you get back, uh, this will be our task that we are going to do together. OK, so pause me now. Go and have a watch of this video, then come back and we will do the task together. OK, this is quite similar to what we were doing last week. However, you then took that information and went and made a fact file. So I've done it slightly differently this week in that our task is just going to be doing this together. So what I'd like to do then is I'm going to have a quick read through it. Then I would like for you to have a go at pausing the screen and um, filling in these gaps, OK? Now, if you want to sit and write it down, you can, but I'm not saying that you do have to, OK, because you might find that it takes you a long time. You may be able to just read it and then um, slot in those words. And if you choose to do it that way, that is absolutely fine. But all of this information here is about the video that we just watched. OK, so Mary Seacole was born more than 200 years ago in... Her father was a something man and her mother was something. Mary's mother was a healer and taught Mary her skills. When war broke out in the something, Mary decided to go and help the soldiers. When Mary first tried to travel to England, she was not allowed to. Mary's, when Mary's ship arrived in London, she tried to join something team of nurses but she was not chosen instead mary decided to travel to crimea on her own and build her own mary felt something and thought about coming home however she carried on okay so i wonder if you can pause the screen then and have a go at answering those now OK, let's have a little look together then. OK, now the best thing to do with these is always do the ones that you know first and then you can always come back to them afterwards and see which ones you've got left over. So Mary Seacole was more was born more than 200 years ago in. Which one of these words do you think that might be? OK, hopefully you said Jamaica. There we go. Her father was a something man. OK, do you remember which one? Hopefully you selected that her father was a white man and her mother was black. Mary's mother was a healer and taught Mary her skills. When war broke out in something, you remember when war broke out in Crimea? OK, in the year 1854, Mary decided to go and help the soldiers. When Mary first tried to travel to England, she was not allowed to. When Mary's ship arrived in London, she tried to join Hopefully you put Florence Nightingale's team of nurses. 
but she was not chosen. Instead, Mary decided to travel to Crimea on her own and to build her own hospital. Mary felt afraid and thought about com coming home. However, she carried on. Okay, well done if you got all of those right. Next then, okay, just like you just did, I'd like to go and have a little watch of this for you, okay? Then you can come back again and we will do our next bit of our task together. So go and have a watch of that now and then come back. Okay then, so I will read it to you first and I'll go through the words that we've got available to us at the bottom. Then we can, um, I will let you guys have a go at popping those in. So the Crimea was something and something and Mary felt frightened. She built her hospital and called it the something. Mary had a called Sally to help her the soldiers. The soldiers called her Seacole. One day, a man from the Times came to see Mary and her work. He was surprised that she treated soldiers on the, and even treated soldiers. When the British troops won a great victory, Mary walked into the town with the team and all of the troops, something her. Okay. So, available for us, we've got cheered, enemy, newspaper, battlefield, cold, mother, smelly, maid, British hotel, and treat. Okay, so let's look at that first sentence together. The Crimea was something and something, and Mary felt frightened. Okay, hopefully for that one then, you said cold and smelly. Okay, well, you might have said smelly and cold, which is fine. She built her hospital and called it the British Hotel. Mary had a something called Sally to help her. What do you think that one was? Mary had a maid called Sally to help her something the soldiers. Hopefully for that one, you put treat the soldiers. The soldiers called her Mother Seacole. One day, a man from the Times newspaper came to see Mary and her work. He was surprised that she treated soldiers on the battlefield and even enemy soldiers. When the British troops won a great victory, Mary walked into the town with them and all of the troops cheered her. How wonderful and what an amazing achievement. Well done if you managed to get all of those correct. That was part, part two of our task done. So final section now that I'd like you to go and have a little watch of. This should be link three down in the description box below. Then you can come back and we will do this final section together. So go and have a watch now and then come back. OK, then year two. So we have got for this section, when the war was over, Mary could not something the British hotel and had to just leave it and go back to. He had no and even had to part with. The British people, something about her and the man from the Times helped people to. her. 80,000 people came to her for her. Mary even got a letter from the, okay, so available to us, we have Queen, Cell, Remember, London, Money, Sally, Party, Forgot, okay, so the first sentence then, when the war was over, Mary could not, mm, the British Hotel, and had to just leave it and go back to, mm, okay, hopefully for that one, you said Cell, she could not sell the British Hotel. She had to just leave it and go back to London. She had no mm, and even had to part with. Mm, so she had no money. She even had to part with Sally. The British people forgot about her. But then the man from the Times helped people to 
remember her. 80,000 people came to a party for her. Mary even got a letter from the Queen. So well done to you if you got all, all of that right this afternoon. I think we have definitely learned lots about Mary Seacole. Okay. Now, as I said earlier on, that was our task today to watch those videos um, and to fill in all of those gaps. So if you were able to do that with me today, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. And that was brilliant. We were able to create our own little fact file there. However, I know some of you do like to go away and do a little bit of an extra challenge. So just like you did last week with um, Florence Nightingale, you could go and use those same headings that you used last week and create a fact file now about Mary Seacole. Okay, it could be a, in your own style, it could be a poster type thing, however you want to do. Okay, challenge X would be to create your own fact file without having to use those headings. So it's completely on your own. However, like I say, you don't have to go away and do that today. That is just a bit of an extra challenge because our challenge today was filling in all of these bits and watching those videos. Now, I hope you have enjoyed learning um, a little bit more about Mary Seacole. I certainly have. OK, enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you all soon. Bye, everyone.